Hey YouTube, Mike here with a quick little review of the My Ford Touch System. I've got it here in my Ford Escape 2014. Really love the car. My Ford Touch, pretty good system. Um, I'm hoping the Ford engineers on the next update fix a few small little things which would make this thing a lot more user friendly. Um, again, it's, it's a good piece of technology but a few minor changes. First off, Every time you start the car, you've got this four quadrant system. So on the bottom right, you got climate, top right, navigation, top left is your phone, bottom left is music. Now, I'm like a lot of people, I use this mainly for music, 99% of the time. So every time I get in the car, I have to select music. I really think they should have it so we can have music be the default screen. Or the phone, maybe use the phone all the time, or maybe you only use it for navigation. They should have a way to make it default. I mean, it would be simple for them to do. Second small problem, on the left side we've got the AM, FM, and Sirius. And we've got some steering wheel controls, which are really handy. You don't really have to take your eyes off the road or your hands off the steering wheel. But these, let's see, let me just show you. All right, so from the steering wheel control, I'm on FM1, the set of uh, groups of presets. Now I'm on FM2. FM3. Now if I hit it again, I go down to Sirius. It doesn't go back to FM1. Here I am on Sirius 1, Sirius 2, Sirius 3. I click it again, I go down to the CD player. These should all be looped. It, it, does, it just doesn't make sense. Now if you're on Sirius 3, you can go back to Sirius 1 by touching the screen here, or you can use the voice controls. I'll show you there. Please say a command. SAT1. So, that takes you back to Satellite One. Any, again, it's a minor, uh, minor complaint, but these should be looped. Number three, on the home screen, they should have a little home icon, where if you just hit that, navigation to take you to your home address starts up automatically. As it is now, it takes three clicks. So we go one, then we hit destination, then you hit my home. I would hit it, but it shows my home address. I don't want to do that. Uh, one click there and then you have to do one more click. So it's three clicks to get home. Whereas it could be a lot easier if they just had a little home icon somewhere. Um, fourth thing, this thing shuts off after 15 minutes automatically. So I often get my lunch and sit in the car and just park and have lunch. And I'll be listening to a song or listening to an interview. The thing shuts off with no warning. And there's no way to set it so that it takes longer to shut off. I think you should have the option of having it shut off after 30 minutes. Um, or maybe just a little warning box comes up and says, okay, it's about to shut off. Are you sure you want it to? So those are my major complaints. I would love it if I could have Google Maps up on this screen because their navigation system, it's really cumbersome to, to get somewhere. Let me, let me give you just a quick, quick example. Let's say I want to go to Dolores Park in San Francisco. Please say a command. Navigation. Navigation. Say a command. Destination. Point of interest. How would you like to search? By name or by category? By name. And where would you like to search? Nearby? Along your route? Near your destination? Or in a city? In a city. In California. Say the city Okay, name. so I'm just going to stop right there. You can see it, it takes a while. On Google Maps, you can just say destinate, you can just say navigate to Dolores Park in San Francisco. And it just sets up your route. I mean, and also on my phone, I've got a little home icon. If I just click that, Google Maps starts up with the route to my home all ready to go. So what I do is I just use my phone for navigation. I've got this little Tetrax uh, mounting system. Put a little piece of metal on the back of your phone. It sticks on there like, uh, with a magnet. And it's really good. And then I can just use the My Ford Touch for music. Um, one little tip here. To reduce the how much the thing says here. So you go to voice control, you go to settings voice control, interaction mode, 
switch it from novice to advanced. And then when you click the, uh, the button on the steering wheel to start the uh, voice recognition, it, she doesn't say anything. It'll just chime. Listen. So it just chimes, it hits a little, it makes a little beep, and it just makes it a little more streamlined. Anyway, that's my quick review. Um, Ford Engineers, I'd love to see you make those changes that I uh, suggested, and I hope this helps somebody out there. All right, bye-bye.